Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now December 1st of 2024 and given that 2025 looms of course and the fact that many different studios and those within the Hollywood bubble, the film industry, whatever have you, whether it's actors, actresses, writers, directors, producers, executive producers, I could go on about this all day, are in full panic mode right now over specific pushback from the general public all because they had a political opinion and they were criticized by Hollywood and wrongfully so mind you and it backfired completely now we know that some television hosts out there like Whoopi Goldberg, Joy Behar, and Sonny Hostin, the main subject of this video, we know that she, in the one in particular, is the one that really spewed all the lies on her program of The View via ABC, via the Walt Disney Company. We all know that Disney owns ABC, which is why ABC acts the way that it acts. It's not a big shocker there. But focusing on Sonny Hostin, a lot of things are seemingly backfiring for her right now for her career and for her overall status within this industry let's dive deep into this shall we this is mike zero subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates you can also follow me at mike zero one i thank you also very much for the great and kind support so sunny hostin we've been talking about her on and off for the past two weeks give or take and she's been going on a lot of issues right now she's been displaying those issues on live television and to the general public directly and even internally behind the scenes over at ABC and various studios. Now one studio in particular she was recently fired and booted from for the reasons that we all know about because of how she spewed out her lies and how she was so aggressive with her political opinion and let's dive into this yet again. Now specifically of course with Sonny Hostin of The View already gaining extensive backlash after all the comments that she displayed on live television for years, and especially within the past four weeks, one monumental development now has to do with her firing from a specific studio and how she was recently removed in a very similar fashion to how Whoopi Goldberg was let go from DreamWorks after her comments were getting so much negative feedback. As it turns out, now Universal Studios decided to fire Sonny Hostin from playing in a total of four upcoming movies to play herself of The View as well as one project that was going to provide her a real acting role as a fictional character that would be labeled as a supporting character. All of which are best described as either comedies or romantic comedies, whatever have you, that were going to star Sonny Hostin. One of which in particular was going to be a film called Girls Trip 2, a sequel to the 2017 film by Universal that is being put together right now where Hostin was was reportedly going to play herself in a very extended scene on The View that was going to pay her an estimated $3 million for the role. The other three projects, which are untitled, were going to pay Hostin $2 million, $1 million, and the more relevant role was going to hand Hostin a whopping $5 million to play a fictional character in a rom-com as one of the supporting characters. Now, all together by Universal, period, over the next five years, this would have paid out $11 million in total, along with some residual payments by the studio that will now no longer be happening. Now, the main reason why this happened is that Universal was completely turned off by Hostin's recently, recent political comments that got so much pushback, and rightfully so, by the way, that Universal felt it would be extremely risky to not only have Hostin playing herself in multiple movies, but also as a fictional character that was going to hold a significant amount of screen time along with the fact that she can't really act anyway. Now guys, let me just pause here for one moment about this situation. Now, this is also very similar to what happened to Rachel Zegler. We all know who she is at this point. She's the new actress playing Snow White in 2025 by Disney. Terrible interpretation of the character, by the way, especially given that the actress, Rachel Zegler, spewed out all of that hate on social media about other people's political opinions, and it backfired. Uh, studios like Bloomhouse Productions got rid of her, they fired her from a horror trilogy, which is supposed to compete against the Scream franchise, and that's just getting things started. Now, a very similar thing happened to both Joy Behar and Whoopi Goldberg as well, as they are both desperately trying to go back to their acting roots and stand-up comedy roots as well. Already, Sonny Hostin is yet again, much like Whoopi Goldberg, playing the race card 
toward the Universal CEO and its board of directors and executives, and her behavior is best described as very aggressive and argumentative in nature. Claiming that she was fired for political reasons, a near similar scenario happened to Robert De Niro after he was let go and fired by Warner Brothers to appear in two major mob boss films that are now in jeopardy after he was let go. All of which happened because of his overall lies that he spewed and all of the aggressive comments that he displayed on television, right? So again, this is something that I think Sonny Hostin should have seen coming. She, she should have known that this was going to happen at some point, one way or another. If you're going to spew so many lies for years, if not most definitely within the past four weeks, which were even more inflammatory, you should have seen this coming. You should have expected a large amount of backlash and how there is a tide turning right now. It may be a very slow tide, but some studios out there, thankfully, are finally beginning to wake up a little bit before everything begins to shift around. And this is all to be expected from these Hollywood elites, all of these actors, actresses, television hosts, and much more like producers. They all act in a very similar way. This is all to be expected. Now, continuing on, what's even more revealing here is that on top of everything else, What's really shocking is that Sonny is also trying to get more acting roles reportedly to remain relevant in the industry as her time as the, on The View is best described now as very limited and or delicate. This also created an uproar behind the scenes at Universal from Sonny and her entire team trying to reverse this action, however this already led nowhere. Now it's really interesting about this is the fact that you have those out there like Sonny Hostin that are trying to get acting roles or that are trying to get roles where she plays her self on the view in various different movies and whether it's as herself as a character or herself on the view in an actual cameo in a movie she wanted those roles she wanted those payouts from those actual projects by universal studios and the ceo the board of directors the executives said no dice we want nothing to do with that at all we don't want to deal with that we don't want to have any kind of pushback we know that universal is really trying to have a better track record right now and look, I mean, what they're doing right now with a lot of things, they're trying to put out more blockbuster hits and they want to keep doing that. The last thing they want to do is bring in Sonny Haas and to jeopardize all of that and to sabotage it all. So again, I mean, this is a very similar thing, like I said before, of what happened to Whoopi Goldberg, Joy Behar. You guys may recall we talked about Behar's situation. She was supposed to be in Toy Story 5 by the Walt Disney Company and she was let go from that by Disney Pixar. Pixar, of course, had a lot of arguments with her, and this, of course, had a lot to do with Disney, so she wasn't removed from Disney altogether, but we know that she's no longer in the film business, if you will, or the acting business, whatever have you. Now, again, like I've said before, we know that Whoopi and Joy, along with Sonny now, seemingly are all acting as a trio to kind of find an alternative to their careers within the industry, whether it's acting, comedy, whatever it's going to be. They are trying to do this at all costs because they know that the view and its ratings aren't really doing so hot right now. But overall, I would like to hear what everyone has to say about all of this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.